The Tale of the Brave Little Cloud Once upon a time, high in the sky, there lived a little cloud named Nimbus. Nimbus was not like the other clouds. While the other clouds were big, fluffy, and white, Nimbus was small and a bit lonely. He often felt like he didn't belong in the sky. Every day, the other clouds would float by in groups, laughing and playing, while Nimbus drifted behind, unsure of what to do. One morning, as Nimbus floated aimlessly, he saw something that made his heart race with excitement, a rainbow. It was the most colorful thing Nimbus had ever seen, and it stretched across the sky like a giant bridge of light. Nimbus watched in awe as the rainbow shimmered, and he wished more than anything that he could be as special and beautiful as the rainbow. Nimbus floated closer and closer, hoping to get a better look. But as he got nearer, a powerful wind suddenly blew in, and Nimbus found himself caught in a storm. The sky grew dark, and the wind howled around him. Nimbus shivered, afraid and unsure of what to do. Just then, a gentle voice echoed through the storm. It was the wise old cloud, a cloud that had been floating in the sky for many, many years. Nimbus, why do you look so sad? asked the wise old cloud. What's troubling you? Nimbus looked up, his small, fluffy form trembling. I wish I could be as beautiful as the rainbow. I feel so small and lonely. The other clouds don't seem to notice me. I don't know where I belong. The wise old cloud smiled gently. Ah, Nimbus. You are not small, and you are certainly not lonely. Every cloud has a special role to play in the sky. You just have to find yours. And sometimes, it takes a little adventure to discover what you're meant to do. Nimbus felt a spark of hope. But what can I do? I'm just a little cloud. The wise old cloud chuckled softly. Even the tiniest cloud can make a big difference. Do you see that rainbow you admire so much? Nimbus nodded, his eyes shining with excitement. That rainbow needs clouds like you. When a cloud like you comes together with others, you can create something magical, a storm, or even a rainbow of your own. Nimbus's eyes widened. I can help make rainbows, he asked, his voice full of wonder. The wise old cloud nodded. But first, you need to learn something very important. A cloud doesn't just float by, it must work with others to make something beautiful. That means you need to find your place in the sky, where you can work together with the wind, the sun, and other clouds. With a new sense of purpose, Nimbus decided to follow the advice of the wise old cloud. He began to pay closer attention to the other clouds and how they moved together. Some clouds would gather to form big, puffy rain clouds, while others would drift high above, floating lazily in the sunlight. Nimbus realized that he could be a part of all this, he just had to find his way. One day, Nimbus noticed that the sky was growing dark. He saw a group of clouds forming a big, heavy rain cloud. Nimbus thought to himself, this is my chance to help. He floated over to the cloud and asked, can I join you? I want to help you make rain. The rain cloud looked down at Nimbus and smiled. Of course, little cloud. Every cloud has something to give. Join us, and we can make rain together. Nimbus squeezed into the group, and soon, the rain cloud began to grow heavier and heavier. The rain started to fall, gently at first, and then harder and harder. Nimbus felt proud. He was no longer drifting alone in the sky. He was part of something much bigger and more important. But then, something magical happened. As Nimbus and the other clouds poured down the rain, a beam of sunlight broke through the clouds. The sunlight hit the droplets of rain, and suddenly, a rainbow appeared in the sky, a beautiful, vibrant arc of color. Nimbus gasped. Look. I helped create a rainbow. The rain cloud laughed. You did indeed, little one. You worked with us, and now we've made something beautiful. Just remember, Nimbus, no matter how small you feel, you are a part of something much bigger. Nimbus beamed with pride. From that day on, he was no longer a lonely, small cloud. He floated proudly in the sky, helping other clouds, creating rainbows, and being part of the big, wonderful world of clouds. And every time he saw a rainbow, he would smile, knowing that he had a special place in the sky, 
and that his small actions could create something magical.